Hi there, this is Tony Miller with Miller Photography and I'm creating a little video here to explain what the process is for us proofing and working together on editing and getting the photos the way you want them to be after your event. Um, I'm going to be showing you some pictures from an event that I took two weeks ago. Um, two weeks ago we shot the wedding and in that two week period after the wedding, this time anyway, I was able to get the photos ready for viewing and I uploaded them to a site called Dropbox. I'm going to include a little video that will show you what Dropbox is and explain how it works and what this cloud-based sharing service does. It's free for you to um, view and proof the, the files and this site will be primarily used for communication between the bride and myself. I will Put the photos into a folder, and in this case, I put them into Harrier Wedding Photos. And this folder um, includes, at the moment, color proofs, which includes at the time, I think there's about 2,600 photos. Um, but then I went through and picked my favorites in black and white and color, and those images will pop up there is, these are some of my favorites that I chose, or um, proofs, actually this is the folder color 11, 5, 11, 13, all proofs. So this folder of 2,888 files is there, all there for the viewing of the client. It's important to know that when you're trying to communicate which files you want me to work on or do something specific to, that we use this number and file naming system at the bottom left. This one here just assigns like a random 9 out of 2,888. And to help me in the editing process, if we are both using this, this file naming system at the bottom left, that would be perfect. There are a few other um, key things that I need to note here within the Dropbox is the share the link photo. You can click on that little um, chain looking button. And you can share this specific folder with someone, with a family member, or even on Facebook or Twitter um, using that chain button. Let me click out of that folder. You can delete it from the folder, but that's one you want to shy away from using. Um, download this specific file. Let's say you wanted to download this file and give it to someone. Um, on my computer it's going into downloads and here it is Geeworth Harrier 0009.jpg and that file is now on my computer. So as you're looking through these are the entire group of photos. I'm going to go kind of quickly to get to some different images. Um, photos from throughout the day will be all dumped into this Dropbox. Some photos are going to be more, more of interest to you to use and for me to edit, but that is where we're going to go through and let's say you like this one in particular and you want to make me aware that you are you like this image, I want you to email me or Facebook message me that you want 0058 to be edited in, in a specific direction or you want me to just spend more time on it. Um, so this is the Dropbox, and you're you're creating a list of folder or a, excuse me, a list of files that you want me, the photographer, to spend more time editing. Like, um, let's say you want this emergency floodlight to be taken out, or you want me to bring down the background so this is darkened back here, and those recycling cans are not there. Um, basic things, also that I can edit would be the the exposure, I can smooth the skin, also take out certain certain parts of the image. This one would be kind of a more solid image from the group. Um, and you could say Geeworth Harrier 0083. And that's one that you want me to try and edit a couple of different ways, for instance. Now, I'm going to minimize or go to this other browser that I have open to show you the other area where I'm going to be uploading photos. Um, 
My website is millerphotography.biz. And if you go to that website, you can then click on online ordering or my store, which I think I'm going to change that name. Change it that link to store because this website is store.millerphotography.biz. And I've got very various different types of events or types of shoots, but yours will this year will be under wet weddings. This one is protected, which all of them will be. And previously, I've in, input my my password, so I didn't have to do that during this step. But this is the area where um, you, the bride, or your family or extended family could be sent to this area, given the password, and they can click on images to view larger. You can sign in to my website and my store and then add this folder, a folder of favorites so that you can come back to them. You can purchase images, have a complete cart. You could add two sets of, let's not do wallets, but let's say you wanted an 8x10 of this image and you want to add to your shopping cart. You could go to cart or continue shopping. And then when I go to my cart, there is the picture 0272 that I chose as an 8x10. Um, and then your total. Everything is secure. You can check out. Um, you can check out as a guest or you can come in as a returning customer and set up a, a, a username using your email and set up a password and then make orders that that way. Um, but all payments are processed through PayPal if you use credit card and you can also make it uh, mail me a check once you complete the order you can pay offline and mail a check if you feel more comfortable that way. Um, going back to the event that was my cart What I have done is created not all of the 2,888 files are going to make it to this store site. It becomes kind of overwhelming to other family members and other and my customers if there are too many fold, folders or files on this store site. So I try to leave it or limit it to folders of files that I believe are the, the highest quality images that from the day. Your wedding photos, view grid. Oh, and the feature here where it says favorites. Let's say you like this picture and you'd like it to be saved for me to remember to add to your album. I can add that to your favorites, but it will not allow you to add anything to a favorites folder until you sign in. So you cannot use that feature without signing into the website. Um, other products are available. If you wanted to buy the bride and groom um, gift credits, or if you wanted to, let's say, um, purchase a discount print package, they, they are available. You can purchase like um, for thirty dollars, you can get one eight by ten and two four by sixes, and it's a little at a little discounted price. You would add that to the cart, and then from there, choose which images you would like to add to cart items for this print package that you chose earlier. You can add it, and you will then go to the cart and see that that print package was added, and you will get one eight by ten and two four by sixes of that image that was chosen. Um, gift cards, if those gift cards are bought and purchased, you can put in those coupon codes here for the discount or the, the gift credit that is that you possess. And that kind of gives you a rundown of the process, but going back and reviewing, the Dropbox site is the site that we will use to look at all the proofs to then create folders of files that are favorites, to create folders um, for my further editing.
and that way you can communicate which ones are the ones that you want me to spend more time on. Then I take those favorites and I upload them to the Miller Photography Store where you can then direct family and friends and extended family to this site if they care to purchase files from, from me and the professional lab that I go through. Thanks for listening.